Hello everyone. So till now we have gone through the concepts of image formation with a concave lens as well as a convex lens. We have also seen how we represent all the various cases of image formation with the help of ray diagrams. Now as in the case of spherical mirrors, the numerical understanding of these ray diagrams is extremely important when we are talking about using these image formation cases in real life application scenarios. Now to facilitate a common practice using which all these calculations and measurements can be done, there have been some sign conventions that have been designed. So let us try and understand these sign conventions and see how we apply them. The first thing when we are talking about sign conventions with respect to image formation, the first thing to keep in mind is that the complete plane in which the image formation is taking place or the complete plane in which we have drawn the ray diagram is assumed to be the Cartesian plane with the x and the y axis. Now the lens is placed on the x axis in such a manner that the optical center of the lens always coincides with the origin of the Cartesian plane that is the point 0, 0. So the optical center of the lens that we are using is always coinciding with the origin of the Cartesian plane which is the point 0, 0. Due to this, the principal axis of the lens automatically coincides with the x-axis. Now we know that the object is always placed to the left of the lens, right? So here if we have an object, we know that we'll place the object to the left of the lens. Now since the optical center of the lens coincides with the origin of the Cartesian plane which is 0, 0, the all the distances which are on the left side of the lens are in the direction of the negative x-axis, right? Due to that, all the distances that we measure to the left of the lens are always calculated or always measured in negative values. So the distance of the object from the lens is always measured in negative values. Similarly, all the distances to the right of the lens are in the direction of the positive x-axis, right? Due to this, all the distances which are measured to the right of the lens are always measured in positive values. Now there is one more important thing to note here. Now all the distances which are measured horizontally are measured from the y-axis and not the surface of the lens. So if you have an object here and if we drop a parallel ray from, this, from the top of this object towards the lens, the distance between the point where the ray meets the lens and the y-axis is considered to be negligible. So the distance of the object measured from the lens is always measured from the y-axis and not the surface of the lens. Now similarly, all the distances which are measured in the vertical direction are measured according to the y-axis. So all the distances measured above the x-axis, above the principal axis, are in the direction of positive y-axis, right? So all the distances above the principal axis are measured in positive values. Similarly, all the distances which are measured below the principal axis are in the direction of negative y-axis. So all those distances are measured in negative values. So in the case where you get a real and inverted image, we know that the image is going to be formed in the direction of negative y-axis, right? Or below the principal axis. Due to this, the size of a real and inverted image is always measured in negative values. So these are all the concepts related to sign conventions that are generally used while solving ray diagrams with lenses. Now in the next lecture, we'll use these concepts of sign convention and we'll also study about the concepts of the lens formula and the magnification formula and we'll see how we apply all these concepts for solving ray diagrams and to analyze these ray diagrams numerically. See you in the next lecture.